Hello, my name is Yin Hai Wang. I'm calling from uh, Queen's University of Belfast in Northern Ireland. Today I'm going to introduce a Microsoft, a Microsoft Surface and an application we developed called Surface Slide for the viewing and the manipulation of virtual slide. As you can see, this is the main attract application of a Surface um, table. When you touch it, it recognizes your finger as it generates some uh, water waves. At, at the four corner, you can see there's four buttons. If you click it, it gets you to the list of applications stored on this machine at the moment. If we go through these applications, we will see Surface Slide, which is the application we developed. So if we click, it brings you to the main user interface of Surface Slide. And you can see from the top of the window it says please use smart card to log in to continue. So if we put on smart card on the table, it generates a user password a window. So if you click on the password, it gives you a Wii keyboard. So you are able to put in your user password to log in. At the back of this uh, um, smart card is uh, actually a binary tag. So it's related to certain certain user, so that the actual security gives the protection for the sensitive uh, patient data. Now, as you can see at the bottom of a surface slide, there's a list of a virtual slide which is a uh, this user can able to access. So let's say if we are interested in this slide, we drag it to the main main window, it appears automatically. And all of these lines, the arch are large in size. Let's see some information. For this virtual slide, it's 26k by 21k pixels in size, and the mag maximum magnification is 40x. And all of these slides are actually stored in a remote virtual slide server, which is developed by iPass Diagnostics. Let's close this. Now, we are able to zoom in the virtual slide. At the top of the service window, it gives you the current location, the current virtual slide size, and the current magnification of the slide. And you can see the changes. And we can also do panning left, panning right, go down, and go up. And basically, you can move it at any direction you want. You also be able to zoom in and zoom out at any location of the service table, which doesn't have to be in the middle of the service table. And also, you can do zooming in, zooming out, and moving at the same time. You can also put in annotations to the service table. Let's say you're interested in this region, and we would like to think this is actually same one. Now enter. Then this annotation is fixed embedded in the virtual slide. If we go to another region, and we can also put in another type of annotation, which is rectangle. Let's say we're interested in this region, and we believe it's coilocytosis. In. Enter. Now you have your two annotations embedded in a virtual slide, and you can also zoom in and zoom in out and pan in the same time, and they won't change. You can do a recite, it goes back to the original uh, minimum, minimum view. And uh, you can still do zoom in, zoom in out. But however, your annotation has been deleted. You can also close the slide, which brings you back, brings you back to the main um, main menu. Then you can navigate and find another virtual slide you are interested to view. Thank you very much.